What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. It has been a long minute since we have cracked any of this Ikoria collector's box business. So today, we're going to do two. We're going to split these up between a large group of people so everybody can get a little taste. And we'll see if we can get some spicy pulls. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but these have gotten as rare as hen's teeth. And they said they're not doing a reprint and distributors are out, but it seems like there's a little bit of supply that's gonna hit the market in the next week or so. And I'm wondering how that will affect the prices. These things are kind of all over the place. Um, I think if you can get one in the 260 range shipped to your door, that's probably pretty good. eBay prices look in the 300s, so and that's with tax, depending on what state you live in. So this stuff is uh, its all over the map right now. Maybe this little wave that's coming in the next week or so will help. And if some of the prices on these cards would soften a little bit, that would help a little bit as well. But it seems like a lot of the Godzilla cards are really holding strong. A few of them went up in value. Um, I expect that to, I don't really know what that's going to do. It's, it feels like those cards were, would have went down already if they were going to. And then once everything rotates this fall, there will be cards that spike back up. And then once we get some more core 21 spoilers, that will cause some more spikes. We've only got two more stickers. Both of them are still for Raymond. So let me get those on here. And we will proceed with the first box. And these boxes always seem really, really good. All right, Matthew B., pack one for you. Let's get through the basic foils till we get to our land. Starting off with the storm. That's a good commander hit. Offspring's Revenge. Foil Zerta. These cards don't work like they used to. We got a Cub Warden. And this is either a Destroy ya or the other one. Ah, it's the Doom Inevitable. Good hit. And we've got a bonus hit, a full art. Gem Razor. Look at those eyes. That's just, they foiled these just right. I don't care what anybody says. This may be some of the best foiling they've done. Outside of maybe the old square foils, the shooting star foils. This one is for Matthew B as well. Let's see if we can get him a spicier hit out of this. We got the haze. Oh yeah, there we go. Full Art Lures of the Dream Den. That's good. Look, double tap on the kitty cat. Two cats, eight eyes, and a couple little cubs. Look at that. Heck yeah. We got a pink shark, a big bug, a dirge bat, a king Caesar, woke titan, Stay Woke, and a Foiled Parcel Beast. That's probably, artwork-wise and foiled, that's probably one of my favorite cards. Get these back in the cellophane. Next up, we have Jason M. I'm glad that last pack was good for Matthew. Let's hope the trend continues for everyone else. Molten Echoes, Skycat Sovereign, ooh, Foil Kennen, Pack Foil, very nice. Bird Swallow, haven't got to say that in a while. We have our Phoenix, and a Armored Killer. Just a basic heron in the back. 
So it seems like every other day or so, there's some more, what am I going to call it, rumors, hearsay, leaks about double masters. And the current gossip is that the two, in the VIP packs of Double Masters, the two full art lands. Look at that. Yorion. Very nice. Is this a, oh, that's a death. I thought it was a double up because it looked kind of similar. It said the uh, Triome King Caesar. And a Volpa Key. The two non-basic full art lands are potentially going to be fetch lands. That's the rumor. Don't hold me to that. But that's, that's kind of swirling around currently. And there's also some rumors that Jumpstart could have some really interesting stuff in it. And some of the big players in Magic are ordering very heavily. You have the Spellpire Phoenix, Offspring's Revenge, a Crasher. Oh, what do we, let me, let me, let me, let me hide it. We have a Triome, and this guy, heck yeah. So that's a good pack for Brandon. So I'm kind of curious if I should go a little deeper into Jumpstart or not. I'm pretty... I thought I was set on it, but a few things have changed my mind on that ornament. Titan's Nest. Oh, very nice. Foil pack. Snapdragon. Snapdra Snapdax, excuse me. And we have another Apex Legend coming up. Nethroi. Yak of Death. And to destroy you. It's a pretty good pack. That Nethroy, I think, is uh, price has went up slightly in the past week or so. From a man, JT. Max, Electric Dinosaur, Full Art Garuda, that's cool, Whirlwind, very nice, Vivian, Monsters Advocate, Full Art, is that the Sterix, the Auspicious Sterix in the back, I think that might be what that is, and we have the Primeval Champion here, getting ready to chow down on some jets, and the Great Horn, Somebody make that into a meme. I feel like that's meme worthy. Next up is Infinite Card Games. He has his own YouTube channel. He opens magic packs too. If you like pack openings, go check out Alex over there at ICG. He will help you with your pack opening fix. Dismantling Wave. Great shark. Ooh. Turtle Boy. There we go. It's a gorgeous card. Look at the bird, the foil bird. The that's just they just they did a very good job with this. I see a Dorat, the perfect pet, coming up after this full art octopus. There he is. And a foil bird swallow. ICG, up again. He's been opening uh, tons of stuff lately. He gets in some of the older sets too. Gyruda. Shark Typhoon Foil. That's a good looking card. Very playable and useful. Always glad to see it. Vadrock Apex of Thunder. Let's see what our Godzilla slot is. Oh, Death Corona, non-foil, but we'll take it. 
So that is our customary one foil and one non-foil Space Godzilla. Next up is Raymond B. He's gonna finish out this box. So let's see if we can get him some good stuff. We haven't got a foil full art trium yet. There's usually one of those per box, so maybe we'll get it. Double ultimatum. There's a regular trium in Datha. This kind of looks like something out of Borderlands to me. A Dorat and a foil pink shark. I feel like there's some, there's one big hit left in here. One of those ones that just make you, make your jaw drop. Titan Hunter, that's pretty common in that slot. Dinosaur, Nightmare, Mythos, or Mythos, depending on how you want to say it. Ketria Trial, there we go. A King Caesar. And there's our Auspicious Sterix. I think that's an underrated card. I really like his ability. All right, last pack for Raymond. We always have to stop and admire the Danny DeVito of Forest Creatures. Come on now, there we go. Curious Herd. Ooh, there we go. Fiend Artisan. Those Fiend Artisans always like to stick to the card in front of them for some reason. Foil. Otter Boy. A Savai Triome. I think we, uh, we for Raymond, we tripled up on the Triomes. Foil Destroya and just a Lurker. So not terrible. Not too shabby. Let me get all of this stuff out of the way because we have dun, 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 box number two. Come on now. There we go. This is uh, somebody double bag this one. Shuffle up and deal, folks. Put up your Anium blinds. Because we are going to play some cards. All right, starting off with Chris S. And this one, I think everybody got two apiece. So good and equal. Even numbers. Even the odds. And I don't think I've mentioned already, but make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not already, I would sure appreciate it. And if you are, I appreciate you being subscribed. And thank you for your views. I wouldn't be here without you. Make sure you like the video, because that helps the algorithm. And leave me a comment, because that's how you have the opportunity to win some cool prizes. Every Friday, when I shoot the video, I select some winners, usually one winner for every video I did that prior week, and I send them out some really cool stuff. So let's get started with this one, and if you're looking for some Ikoria, of course I've got the Amazon links in the description. I also have the Juicy Battle Bond six packs down there, those are always a good value. And there's a little bit of Double Masters, if you are so inclined. Glade Muse. Ruinous Ultimatum. Foil Triome. Pack Foil. Those are always... I feel like those are more rare than the regular ones. Or the uh, the non-regular ones. Excuse me. Cub Warden. Some crazier... Oh, what do we have here in the back? Hold up. Alright. Baby G. Obviously one of my favorite cards. 
artwork wise <laughs> another full art foil gem razor what the flip look at those eyes that's just that's that's crazy how they made it do that I wonder if there's a guy that designs the cards artwork wise and then there's a guy that goes in and designs what's foiled and what's not foil or if it's it just comes out like that when they print it over the foil blank card Kogla. i figured i thought this guy was going to do more than he has so far did it mythos chittering harvester cloud piercer broccoli boy <laughs> that face destroy ya and a liger Do you think the the Huntmaster Liger would be uh, Joe Exotic's favorite card, or would it be the Cub Warden? So is that guy going to get out of prison? Is 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 he going to get pardoned? I have no idea. Nesting Grounds. That's a good couple dollar. Winota. That showed that this is for Chase. Winota, Joiner of Forces, or as I like to call her, Wino. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. This is a good pack. And then we have the Full Art, Luca, Coppercoat, Outcast. Oh man, this pack is insane. Bio Quartz with Archipelagor. Wow, look at that. We got these two, and then we got that. That's a that's a spicy a spicy meatball, as Booster Therapy would say. Chase T is up again. Impetus. Offspring's Revenge. We've seen that a couple times already today. Oh, that's beautiful. Giganta the Wellspring. Cloud Piercer. Sure Shark. Octopi. King Caesar. And a cave whisperer. Chase's first pack was absolutely lit. Isn't that what all the kids say these days? Lit? Or is that have they quit saying that? Joshua G. go fierce guardianship all right of all the commander cards you want in that slot that is the one we're looking for okay eerie ultimatum what do we have up next oh foil osleth that's hot heron great horn of course we got a little phoenix action with another king caesar oh but it was still a good pack so Joshua G again. Sawtusk. Nightmare. Nightmare. Double nightmare. We have a triome. And also a this guy. So that was a good pack too. The first pack was saved by the commander rare. The second pack was just full of good stuff. I have one for Ron. Two for Ron. This will be his first one. Of course, we start off with our cat token. I'm sure, those will be seeing a lot of uh, use with the new commanders that are coming out. Twinning Staff. Orphan Guard. Cyclone. I just like the artwork. Uh-oh. Is that what I think it is? It is. We have our triome and that guy. I need to quit trying to sing. Because I don't have the the uh the pipes for it whatsoever. You know, but as long as you're making a joyful noise, that's all that matters. It's better than just grumble, grumble, grumble all the time. 
If anybody watches card with, Cards with Michael, they'll remember that quote. Mind Leecher. Crystalline Giant. Karuga. This guy doesn't get any love. He should, though. He's cute. Snapdax. That's a silly looking card. Look at that. This is definitely Pokemon. Biolante. Plant Beast Form. Dang. The Godzilla slot is good for one. Now we have Johnny Mythic. So with a name like that, I'm hoping for some really good Mythic pulls out of here. If I can open the doggone pack. All right. Back in to action. Bog Bonder. Ultimatum. Johnny Mythic it is. Whoa. Well, he lives up to his name. That's for sure with that hit. And a Triome. What is this going to be? And a King Caesar. Yep. That is a silly pack. Johnny Mythic in the house. Living up to his namesake. This one is Johnny Mythic as well. Agitator Ant. Macrosage. Slither Wisp. This guy, a lot of people says this, this guy's a sleeper of a set. We'll see. Bird Swallow. Jim Razor, Primeval Champion, and a Necropanther. He used up all his mythic powers on his first pack. Two more packs. These are for Sam. Kraken. These basics are really, really nice. I think these are the, these are some of my, my more favorite, more favorite, favorite. I like these a lot. I really like the Throne of Eldraine ones as well. Decoy Gambit, I don't remember this card. Hmm, interesting. Lutri, that's cute. <laughs> a box topper Karuga. Ryome, another King Caesar. This guy shows his face too much. And a Cloud Piercer. Not a terrible pack. Is anybody playing a Kruga deck? If so, I want to see the, I want to see the list for it. And how does it do? All right, last pack for Sam, last pack of the video, and then I'll let you continue with your day. Song, Obosh, cool card. And we have a C Dasher, cool art, and a Dorat with a short shark. Not too bad. All right, guys, thank you for joining me again. Like I said, subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment so you can be entered. In the drawings. If you want to get on some of the pack cracking, you can join my Facebook group, Cracking Packs MTG. And again, thank you for being here. Oh, and if you if you dig them, oh whoa whoa, if you dig the playmat, inkgaming.com, they have all kinds of cool stuff like this. So go go give them a check out.